Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. You may recognize Kimberly Williams Paisley from the movie Father of the Bride or the TV show Nashville. Well, she's adding author to that list in a new book that chronicles her mother's journey with a rare form of dementia. Let's learn more about her story. You have a book coming out, don't you? Yes, talk about it because it's a very personal story. It is. This is um, it's called Where the Light Gets In. It comes out April 5th. And it's a memoir about our family's um, struggle with my mom's dementia. What has that been like? Because I, I, watching a daughter to a mother, it's got to be very difficult. Yeah, I mean, she was diagnosed in 2005, 2006, and um, it's been a long road. But writing about it and then finally being able to connect with people about it has been so therapeutic and cathartic. And, you know, my mom was the one who said don't talk about it for so many years because I think she was embarrassed. There's not a lot of people out there talking about their dementia. And she didn't want people to pity her. She didn't want people to think she wasn't smart, you know. Um, I think part of her irrationally felt like it was her fault or something. So um, we weren't allowed to talk about it for a long time. So it's been really wonderful to be able to, and I wish we had sooner. Yeah, it's, it's funny. You open the floodgates, and then you're like, a lot of other people are going through the same exact thing. That's what I found. And, and you know, my mom has PPA, which is a rare form of dementia, but it's got a lot of similarities to Alzheimer's. And that so many issues are the same, universal for people with dementia. The caregivers are, caregiver burnout is a serious issue. You know, the primary caregiver was my dad and we were worried we were gonna lose him before my mother. Um, things like getting the car keys away from someone who thinks they can still drive, that's an issue. Um, you know, how to move someone into getting more help or, or maybe into long-term care, things like that. Many, many people could relate and it was just a relief to be able to talk to people about it. And how did you and your sister take care of yourselves? Because that's important too. My sister bared the brunt of caregiving for my mom because she didn't have little kids when it, when it was really going down, so she was there with my dad. Um, but, you know, we, we try to keep each other laughing. We try to um, stay on top of things. My mom is still living, and so just checking in with my dad and with her caregivers weekly um, to figure out, you know, how can we help her now, things like that. And the importance of research and funding the research, I, dementia and Alzheimer's. Yes, dementia is far more expensive in the last five years of life than heart disease and cancer because of the complicated task of caregiving because you've got like the daughter has to quit her job so she can care take care or the spouse has to quit their job and so funds are lost that way but then it's just so expensive to care for someone 24 7 and the amount of funding uh, going to Alzheimer's and dementia research is a fraction of what it should be.